Hello everyone, welcome to Geek and Mag. In today's video, I am going to show you how to install Windows 11 on Mac with M4 chips or if you have Mac with M1, M2 and M3, the process remains the same. If you find it useful, like the video and subscribe the channel. First of all, you need to open the browser and visit parallels.com. I have added the link in a description. With the help of this application, you can run Windows 11 on Mac powered by silicon chips. Click on the try free button on this page and enter your email ID. Check the terms and hit submit. On this page, click on the download parallel desktop button. This will get you the DMG file for the same. Double click on it. Click on the install parallels desktop. Click open. Click enable and this will start downloading the parallels on the Mac. When this dialog box appears, enter the password to continue. Now you will be asked to provide permission to create directories. Click next and keep hitting the allow button and then click finish. Now parallels will open and you will see this window. As we want to install Windows 11, you need to click install windows. If you click on the other options button, you will get options to install other operating systems like Mac, Linux and other. Here select get Windows 11 from Microsoft and you will reach the same window. Installing windows on Mac has some limitations so you can check those by clicking this link. Now click install windows. This will start downloading the Windows 11. The process will take time depending on your internet speed. Once you reach this screen, the installation will start. You can see this dialog box says that installation will take 5 to 15 minutes. Click allow on the permission dialog box to start the installation. The whole process is automated so you don't need to do anything. During the installation, you will see this screen. Click on the trial to continue. Once you reach this screen, installation is almost complete. Click allow on the permission dialog box. Here you need to log in to Parallels using these options or create a new account by filling the details. I already have the account so I will log in with this option. Once logged in, you need to accept the Windows terms and you will reach the Windows 11 home screen. Now let's open the settings app and find out the specification and version of the Windows 11. When you open it for the first time, you will be asked to enter the Windows 11 key you can either buy the key if you don't have it or you can enter the key if you have purchased one. You can also do it later from the settings. On the top you can see 256 GB of storage is assigned with 6 GB of RAM and it's using the Mac silicon chip. The addition is Windows 11 Pro version is 24H2 with build 261.200 dot four three four nine which was released back in june you can head over to the windows update and download the pending updates one of the best feature it offer is coherence what it does it as you can see with default settings it seems like you are running windows in the app in case you want to work with windows apps side by side then click on this icon on the upper left corner of the screen and this will enable the coherence Now the apps open in the window will look the same way you open in the Mac. To exit it, right click on the windows icon, select view, exit coherence. To be frank, using windows 11 with parallels is very smooth experience to me. In case you find it useful and would like to purchase the full version, then head over to this page and choose the desired plan. I am adding the link in a description. In case you don't want to buy it, then I have already covered a video on how to install windows 11 on Mac with silicon chips for free check the link is in the description that's all for this video i hope this helps if you have any query related to this video drop it in the comments thanks for watching